If you've got a really deep cavity, one that's eaten all the way through your enamel and down to the layer underneath, the dentin. Cavity regeneration is exactly what a drug candidate called Tideglucid and its newer cousin, NP928, are hypothesized to be capable of. Tideglucid has been investigated in clinical trials for a multitude of different diseases, including Alzheimer's disease, and it remains in clinical trials to this day for conditions like ALS, for example. It works by blocking an enzyme called GSK3, and this inhibition activates the Wnt signaling pathway. Wnt signaling is one of biology's master switches, so it's super relevant to regenerative medicine because it tells stem cells when to start dividing and make tissue. And this isn't just about the one drug. Other molecules can tweak Wnt signaling and drive dentin repair, but the point is, Tideglucid has already been tested in clinical trials, and so that gives it a leg up when you're comparing it to other drug candidates that have maybe just been tested in vitro or on rodents. Still, you do have to prove that the drug is safe for the specific application that you have in mind. For example, in previous clinical trials, Tideglucid was administered systemically, so that means the drug was going all over the body. And so doctors were detecting elevated markers of liver stress in some of those patients, not all of them, just some of them. If you're just applying Tideglucid to the tooth, will you get those same side effects? We don't know, that's why you need the clinical trial. And if you don't, then that unlocks an entirely new patient demographic that might not qualify for systemic Tideglucid because maybe they've got liver-related risk factors, but perhaps they can receive it for tooth repair. So what they did was they soaked tiny biodegradable sponges in Tideglucid, and then they would put these sponges into the holes made in the animal's teeth. This activated the tooth's own stem cells, and so over time what they saw was new dentin was being formed as the sponge was dissolving. NP928 is basically just the next-gen version of Tideglucid. Works the exact same way, but it's formulated to be more water-soluble. So that means you can deliver it in a gel instead of using those biodegradable sponges, and that makes your life a lot easier when you're actually in the clinic using it. NP928 itself has not been tested in humans, but because it's chemically very close to Tideglucid, and Tideglucid has been through multiple clinical trials, there is good reason to believe that its safety profile could be favorable. However, that still needs to be validated in new clinical trials for NP928. This clip is a preview of Dr. Lila's next episode on tooth regeneration. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications so you don't miss it.